This question comes from Don, who's an IT innovation specialist. And he asks that I've recently hit the wall in Google Sheets with the 2 million cell limit. I've heard of BigQuery, but I don't know much about it. How do I make that transition to BigQuery for the first time? Great question, Don. Let's just do, before we dive into like the switch to BigQuery, let's dive into that 2 million cell limit and how easy it is to hit it um, if you're doing anything fancy in Google Sheets. So I just have some math here in the sheet. So say we're doing like Google Analytics data and we have 10 sites that we're managing, which is pretty standard for say you're like a digital agency. Uh, so you have 10 columns in those reports, like goal completions, users, sessions, um, bounces, source, medium, date, all this stuff. You can easily have 10 columns from GA data. Um, so you have 50 rows a day per client, which is pretty low. And you want a year of history. That's almost 2 million cells. So just one data source. If you want to have uh, kind of line level data, so any type of detail, whether it's session level, uh, source medium, landing page, that type of granularity. Um, if you want to have line level data, if you want to have a date long date history, so if you want to have over like a year of line level data, um, and if you have multiple sites or multiple kind of like properties of, of any kind that you're managing, uh, you're going to pr pretty quickly run out of real estate in Google Sheets. Um, so honestly, if you're doing any type, and if you want to do any type of like uh, more complex data analysis uh, on or joining with other data sets, it's just not going to work in Sheets. So you really have to just like do the basic math, look at the size of your data. And if you're going to hit that 2 million cell limit with just raw data, um, you know, Sheets is not for you. You have to move beyond the spreadsheet. And that's what BigQuery or any really any database engine, but BigQuery happens to be a convenient one to use if you're already in the Google stack. Um, and it's also very fast to do this kind of remote analysis. So you can push data to BigQuery and pull it out uh, very quickly. So that's kind of the 2 million cell limit and when you might want to make the jump to BigQuery. In terms of actually making the jump, um, there's a couple resources we have at Coding is for Losers that help you do that. Um, both of them are linked to here and I'll link to them in the description. But one is a blog post that kind of talks more about why you do that. And then secondarily, um, we have a template in the Coding is for Losers template vault that basically acts as your bridge between Sheets and BigQuery, um, allows you to push data up to BigQuery from Sheets, it allows you to pull it back in um, and do some of that data modeling in BigQuery. So use the connector if you're looking if you're looking to like dip your toe into BigQuery, this uh, Sheets template will be a really easy and kind of soft introduction um, to BigQuery. Uh, so hope that helps and hope that helps you uh, kind of on your journey towards working in databases, Don.